I'm Robert Williams from MetalRules.com and joining me here today in Anaheim, California for the 2009 Winter NAMM show is none other than Tom Araya, bassist and lead vocalist for Slayer. How are you doing today, Tom? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. So are you debuting some new equipment here at the NAMM show? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just here for the party? No, I just came here to hang out with, with, uh, with another company, ESP. I'm with ESP Guitars. Okay. Uh, we use Marshalls too, so. But I'm here just for them. I, I haven't really been around walking around, so we just got here. What's the coolest thing you've seen so far? So far? <laughs> uh, Lots of take So far, this is the first, first place we've been to. So. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so you guys just uh, wrapped up your European Unholy Alliance tour in Moscow, Russia, playing there the second time in your career. Right. How was the show in Russia? It was awesome. It was awesome. It was uh, pretty crazy. We. Um, we were supposed to schedule. We were supposed to go on at a at a set time, but they had to let everybody in the building. So we literally went by. We went in on about two hours, and then the show time we were supposed to go on because they were you know they didn't want all the Russians to go crazy if we went on and nobody was in the building. Yeah. So we had a, it took some time to get everybody in the building, but it was a really good show. So I really enjoyed it. Very hungry fans. It's really really fun. Cool. Did, did they especially uh, like Psychopathy Red over there? Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, he, that song got really good, re, you know, got good response everywhere we played it. Actually, it was uh, obviously because it was. I think it was because it was a new song, but uh, I'm I'm hoping that it was because it was intense, it's so intense. So, uh, but uh, yeah, that song got really good reception. I love that song. Do you think that kind of sets the tone for the new album? Is it all going to be that? Yeah, it should. Trashy? It should set the tone. But you know, we're we're doing a bunch of really cool things. So. It, it, that, that's, it, it just let, it lets people know that, we, you know, that, uh, that we, we're still doing it and we plan to do another one like that. So, so is the plan to still enter the studio February 1st? I, I don't know. Well, you know more than me, then I guess uh, you just go ahead and tell me where we go, yeah. <laughs> well, there's supposed to be a new one out this summer. Yeah, yeah, we're going to, hopefully we'll start getting in the studio soon and uh, start recording. What producer are you guys working with on this? Um, what was it? What was it? Uh, Fetterman? Fiddleman. 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 This is Greg, right? Greg Fiddleman. Okay. Yeah, he was actually really cool. Awesome. <laughs> I don't remember his <laughs> name, but he was actually really cool. <laughs> and um, do you guys got any plans yet for the next Unholy Alliance tour? Uh, not yet. Not yet. I know that we're... Uh, we're probably going to do that sometime next year. I don't know. I, don't, I, have, I know there's something going on, but I don't know what, what's going on, and I don't know what they're going to call it. So that's why I kind of like, eh. It's probably too early. There's two tours go on the works. One one that everybody knows of already, and then we're, we're planning to do one in the spring. So, But I don't know how that's going to go yet. You guys playing around with any uh, titles for the new album? Nothing. No, man, we don't know any of that until we start working with the songs. And then once we've got the vibe and the feel of the songs, then we, we kind of we vibe out the title for it from there. Are all the lyrics written? No. Still no, in the not even all, The music's not written either. Oh, wow. No, I, we play it, we don't write it. <laughs> so, uh, do, you, do you do most of the uh, writing by yourself or rehearsals? Or? We, we kind of, it, it really depends. It depends on how, it, how the song comes together or where it, where it comes together. Uh, usually I have ideas, they have music, or uh, they, have, uh, they have ideas with music. You know, and then we just work together. If it's something that we can work together on, we work together on it. If not, we don't. But you know, it's usually that that usually tells. You know, it's like if it's if it's an idea or, uh, that that we can uh, we can communicate about, then, then it comes together really easy. Because that that we never nothing, nothing's in stone. Yeah. Everything happens on a day to day basis. More spontaneous. Yeah, spontaneous. Well, uh, it's been stated recently that you guys have at least. Two Slayer albums left before calling it a day, and I hope you don't call it a day anytime soon. Um, but in, in regards to that, my first question was: Do you plan on staying active musically after Slayer? I don't know. I don't know. It's too far ahead. I don't know to when that day comes. Just to me. Yeah, I know. I'm, I know what I'm doing tomorrow. What are you doing tomorrow? Flying home. <laughs> <laughs> so. I know that much. <laughs> my, my second question in regards to that is, um, if you knew going in to the studio that you're making the, the final Slayer album ever, how would you approach that? You know, I mean, 
you guys have so much classic material already in the, in the can. How would you top that? You, know? you approach it. You approach it like you do every album you do. You just write material that you believe in and like. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know we're fans of the band, so we know what we want. We want to hear from the band. Uh -huh. It's not like we just make stuff up and, and go, oh, this is great, and not really take into consideration. Well, gee, if I were a fan, would I like it? Yeah. A lot of our decisions are made that way. Uh -huh. We go like, boom, boom. Yeah, that's not cool. So we go with what think we think is cool uh -huh. for the band. You know what I mean? And that's that's why it's we we, and we you know. I'm, like, on this new album, there's, there's another song that, that we did. There were three songs that we recorded so far. This, the second song that we've done is, it's got a really, really cool melody. Very different from what we've done. That's why I'm kind of, this, this, it'll be a good, good record because it's going to have a, some new things in it. Nothing, it's still Slayer, you know what I mean? But it'll, it'll come across as new, which is really cool. When, when you guys play out with all these newer bands like Children of Bodom or Lamb of God, do you ever take anything away from that? And it's just Slayer all yeah, the way. Yeah, just Slayer. Yeah, you just do, we do what we do, and that's you know the, we don't need those you don't need those influences. Yeah. But you can listen and go like, wow, that's really cool, for them. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's uh -huh. their thing, kind of. Like, like, that's our attitude, I guess, about that stuff. Are there any young metal bands out there right now that you're into? Mm -hmm. no, no, it's no, like no. the classic stuff. No, just whatever whatever my kids listen to. That's about the only thing that ever makes it to my ears. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I don't know whatever it is you're listening to these days. Well, cool. I know you're a busy guy, Tom. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for cool. taking the time to talk to me.